Holy snap! So there it was, right? Taking a break because the rumblers, the spawn rumblers again. I got an M4, yo! How's it going, everybody? My name is Armando, and welcome to a brand new Dead Frontier series. So, guys, this series. I will honestly complete it. I know I've been away from my hardcore and my South Seas end zone. I have a lot of series going on in this channel, right? I don't know what you should do most of the time. But this one, I'm very, very much motivated to finish. Because honestly, it shouldn't take that long. So, as you can tell by the title, you guys are confused. The X series. That sounds like an anime or a TV show. It sounds nice. Well, not so much, guys. So, first things first. With the help of you guys, this is the only way I'm going to be able to finish this series. But let me give a huge shout out to, you know, R4KK4ZZ. He basically decided to just let me the X-Manberg out of the blue, and that's what gave me the idea, alright? So as you guys all know, I've never once used the X-Weapons or the X-Armors. Why? Well, because when I came back, I still had my x Star Dusk Enforcer, my, old, my Unlimited Wraith Cannon, and my Dusk Razor. So I didn't really see a reason to purchase these weapons, especially when I have an, two unlimited weapons that I can pretty much do anything forever. Never run out of ammo because it's unlimited. <laughs> but he told me, or she told me, hey, you want to try it out? These are great weapons. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be excited. And honestly, he, she is right because I've never used these weapons. So as a first time user, I feel like I'll be able to provide some type of information for you guys that are looking forward to, you know, either looting the weapons or crafting them or buying them shit out the marketplace. That way, you know, judging from the videos, you'll pretty much take the decision of either selling or acquiring the weapon. So how would the series work? Pretty much we're going to use all the X weapons. So like I said, with the help of you guys and only you guys, I'll be able to do these series. I'll give you guys a shout out in the beginning of the video. And after that, we'll just go out there and test the weapons. And how would that be done? Well, pretty much we'll be using the weapons in both aggro scenario and boss scenario. So it'll be pretty much like a boss or a loot run. How long would it take to kill these bosses? How long would it take to deal with the aggro? So et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And how difficult it is to use these weapons. So remember guys, these are my stats. 112 reload. Let me just say guys, the best thing I've ever done. Reloading is fun as how to use. <laughs> We have plenty of critical hit and the rest pretty much 100 plus, alright? Uh, the one I, I may have to do a stat reset because, well, one of the weapons are is an X grand, so yeah, that, that kind of stinks. But oh well, all in the name of videos, alright? We're going to do them regardless, and yeah, let's just stop talking. And like I said, guys, the series will end until we pretty much used up every single weapon in the X category. So yeah, let's, let's stop talking, let's get right into the first boss, and without further ado, let's get going. Alright guys, so our first boss is pretty much two flaming titans. Let's start, let's just ease into it. You know, how how will this weapon take care of some simple bosses, you know, like the flaming titans? Not only that, but I feel like it'll be easier to take on the aggro after that. Like I said, this is just pretty much a boss on Ludron, except there's a review going on. You know, we're actually trying to see how the weapons perform, but yeah. Let's just see where these guys are, so... I'm gonna take them on in this court, all right? Because I feel like it's easier and it'll get more information on how, you know, the weapon takes on aggro, but yeah, I messed up. I have like 11% energy, but yeah, let's just, let's just see, ready? Okay, where's the boss, first of all? Yeah, whatever, let's just get started shooting. All right, all right, all right. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, has knockback? That's the first thing I saw, <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's see. Okay, so far it doesn't look too terrible. I mean, again, I have, you know, 37% damage boot. You know, obviously I have the ultra boost, but, whoa. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, so far so good, as I can tell so far, it can, oh my god, I love my reloading, it can take on the aggro, no problem, obviously you gotta know how to circle them, and you know, how to, oh my god, okay, so this thing does a lot of damage, first things first, I, I thought it was like, you know, a typical shotgun, takes like one, like five shots to kill something, but no, this thing is doing fantastic, alright. But how long would it take to kill these flaming titans? That's the question. Oh my god, dude. I keep doing this to myself. I just... This thing is pretty much a two-shot. I just kind of was looking at one zombie. Yeah, wow. It's... What? He's already flinching? Okay. Okay. That's really not bad, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I I've been off the Death Frontier scene for like oh, three days, four days. <laughs> it's just that usually when I take days off, I focus more on editing. But yeah, let me just ignore ignore, ignore the noob mistakes, guys. Just ignore them. Right now, we're just focusing on the weapon. It does 24.6 damage. I forgot how many bullets. Like, is it 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think it's like 8, 9, 10 pellets. But dude, if these titans were by themselves with no aggro, <laughs> these guys wouldn't last. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, they're already flinching with like meat shields in front of them. Imagine without them insane so one is already bloodied to heck <laughs> all right so what is that already that's 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 actually not bad let's see if i can kill him next to his brother here hey close enough and here comes the other one all right guys so i'm just gonna skip it real quick right straight into the loot so yeah without further ado give me one second all right so pretty much all three brothers dead but yeah right now we're gonna test on the aggro so first things first i just want to say 
This thing is insane. So if you manage to get like three fourths of the bullets in an in infected, it'll usually kill them in one shot. But look at this, man. It's it's insane. For shotgun, this is really good. So I never used a chimney sweeper, all right? I, I, yeah, this is not going to happen anytime soon. Especially because, well, the chimney sweeper is a very rare weapon. I should have gotten it during Christmas, but I was too busy doing other stuff. But so far, I'm really impressed with the X Amber, dude. You want a shotgun that performs really decent against the infected. And doesn't cause much of a risk when, you know, grinding it? This weapon? It might be for you, man. But uh, what I'm loving the fact is it takes one shot. One shot from a shotgun. That that never really happened with me back in the day. Usually it'd be like two shots, three shots, four shots, you know. But now that we have these new X weapons, there look at this. Ready? Two shots. One shot. One. One. Well, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Not only that, but it uses 12 gauge, which is one of the cheapest shotgun ammo out there. Honestly, shotgun in general is just cheap as hell to like maintain. It's not like a mini gun or, a, or even a sniper rifle it's really really cheap to maintain look at this it's just it, it just destroys everything i mean granted there are some red zone zombies but it, it's, it's really good i'm not gonna lie first things first can i <laughs> can i lose something real quick let me see i can at least try nah not yet all right come on come on come on get away from getting away. i have to use a rate cannon guys <laughs> oh xm25 not terrible not the best but it's a 40k loot a sledgehammer so we made around 50 no 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 60k from this loot run but yeah, dude, so far, this Manberg, really good. So enough grinding, let's get on to the next boss. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got some flaming rumblers. Again, this is just like a boss on loot run, I know. And I... Come, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I'm such a noob. Yeah, I was about to embarrass myself in front of you guys. <laughs> Freaking heck. It's about to die with 6.8 mil, man. I mean, it might not happen, but still, I don't want to risk it, man. If you think you're going to die, yeah, just, just don't risk it. Anyway, we have four filming rumblers. Like I said, this is just like a boss on Ludron, except we're pretty much trying out the X, you know, weapons. I want to see how great they perform against these guys, especially because they're really, really, like, you know, they, they eat a lot of bullets. But, like, ev like every time I got to trap them, dude, because, dude, they, they, they take forever to kill. And I mean forever to kill. So I got to trap them. I'm not going to be there for four hours trying to kill them because of the aggro. You know, not gonna happen. So let me see if I can trap him real quick. So right now, I'm just gonna, you know, speed this up. It shouldn't take too long. But yeah, let's just go ahead and, you know, speed this up real quick. How long will it take to kill Flemmy Rumbler with four shots already in it? Let's go. Oh my god, that took a while, guys. So, I don't know how long it took, but, I mean, to be honest, considering that there was aggro coming in and there was other stuff, I mean, this thing did honestly really well, and I barely wasted that many bullets. Ooh, nice, a great exterminator mesh. I like to see that. I better barely... Oh my god, here comes the aggro. Ooh, SW500. Let me just bring out the race cannon so you guys, if you guys do get close, where's my... What the hell? Nice, Master Captain Grinder. Wow, this was a really good one, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's just move on to our next target. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I was gonna do another boss hunt, but I just I remember that this isn't a boss hunt Ludron. This is a review for the Mambergs or the X weapons really. And yeah, I mean it did pretty good for me. I barely spent any money feeding this thing, dude. Like I said, 12 gauge is really, really cheap. I mean, in terms of minigun status, this thing really comes close to it. If this thing had a fire fast firing speed, no doubt in my mind. This will be a really, really close choice when deciding when, whether to buy a Wraith Cannon or an x member Because, dude, it kills things in two shots. It kills a Rumbler in two shots. It kills Long Arms in, two sh in one shot. So, 
yeah, it's really close, guys. So, what's the final verdict for this weapon? Well, I'm gonna give this weapon a 9 out of 10. Honestly, guys, it really impressed me. It has a 36 round capacity, it does very high damage, and not only that, it uses 12 gauge, so it's both powerful and it's cheap to maintain. So if you guys are going out there for a TS run or just want to level up, this might be the weapon for you. So yeah, guys, so far we reviewed the X Maverick. We had a few more to go. Like I said, if you guys want to help out, you know, give me a PM either in Death Frontier or in Discord. My Discord is in the description below. And we'll continue doing this series. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also leave a comment in the comment section below and share it with your friends or upon the community and that'll be great for me. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. It's Armando signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>